Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on I'm Clear Hill with me, Seamus Brady, your host. And in this video, it is an impromptu one because you've got some crazy news. Jim McGuinness has returned as Donegal Football Manager for 2024 onwards. He has been given a three-year contract with the option of a fourth year. But yeah, Jimmy's winning matches part two. Here we go. I mean, what do you make of this? Like, it's the appointment that makes sense. That's the first thing that you have to talk about. It's the appointment that makes sense. Donegal, given the year that they've had, Paddy Carr, how quickly that was over, Aiden O'Rourke coming in as well. Donegal looking so shaky in so many different games. Jim McGuinness is the man to come back in, to bring Donegal their confidence back. And I'm going to run through what he's going to bring, the strengths that I expect, what's different about this time from last time that he came in, and then all in all, just a recap on the appointment itself. So what will he bring? So he's bringing in with him Colin McFadden, Neil McGee, and Luke Barrett are named as part of his backroom team. So the first thing Jim McGuinness is going to bring to the Stony Gall side is confidence. First thing he's going to bring is confidence. They're going to be more assured in themselves now. Jim McGuinness, above anybody else, is going to be the one to get respect out of those players. He took what was, at the time in 2010, the team that was ranked number 19 in the country, and he took them in two years to back-to-back -back Ulster titles and an All-Ireland title. He knows how to get the job done. And he's been courted by pretty much every other county bar Donegal to come and take their job, but he has stayed loyal to Donegal remarkably. So he'll bring confidence and he will get the best out of these players. Make no mistake about it. As I said, if anybody can get the best out of these lads, it's Jim McGuinness. So I expect to see the best out of Paddy McBrarty, Ushian Gallon, Michael Langan. I expect to see Ryan McHugh back in the Donegal team as well. Owen Barn Gallagher, Pat Armogan, Hugh McFadden, Quayla McGonigal, Jason McGee, Sean Patton, Brendan McCall. I expect to see the best out of all these lads. Jamie Brennan too. I expect McGuinness to get the best out of these lads. Then he will bring solidity. So only once in Jim McGuinness's first tenure did I see Donegal completely outclassed, and that was against Mayo in 2013. Apart from that, in every game that Donegal played, they were right there. Even if they didn't get out on the victorious side, but every game that they played in, they were a damn hard team to beat. And when they were beaten, Dublin in 2011 had to scrape over the line. On top of that, Kerry in the final in 2014, a real battle there. Like the only time I saw them beaten out the gate was Mayo in 2013. I think that was when they were on, honestly exhausted after the two years before the McGuinness had put them through. I expect them to have their identity back. Last year, they looked like they were clueless. They didn't know what way to go. They didn't know whether to go left or right. They didn't know whether they were a defensive team, an attacking team. They didn't even know how to attack. They looked completely toothless up front. They had no punch in their attack for the majority of the league. This year, I expect, sorry, for next season, I expect them to have their identity back. I expect them to know exactly what they're about, what their system is, who plays where, what role each person has. McGuinness will have that down to the T. And I expect, and maybe a bit of a hot take, but I expect that they're a dark horse for the All-Ireland now next year. Maybe not a direct contender next year, but I do expect them to get promoted from Division 2, and I do expect them to be a contender again for the Ulster Championship. Do you really think that Jim McGuinness would have come back for anything other than an All-Ireland title. No chance. So similarities to this appointment to the one in 2011. So Donegal being in turmoil is the first one. They were hammered by our man, the qualifiers in 2010. And then compare that to the disastrous year that they've just had relegated with a whimper from Division 1. Also similarities is that, that a team going back-to-back -back in Ulster. So Tehran did it in 2009, 2010. Derry did it in 2022 and 2023. So they have a dynasty to overthrow in Ulster or a clear kingpin anyway to target in Ulster. The difference is, is the defensive system of that time that McGuinness brought in since then has been pretty much figured out. You look at Dublin's victory over Tehran in 2017, for example, that showed the evolution in the game. And now teams have brought that to a new level. So you look at how, for example, Toronto then tweaked the system. 2021 went way more attacking, won the All-Ireland. You look at how Kerry used the defensive system under Paddy Talley and Jack O'Connor in 2022, made themselves really tough to beat at the back, but then also had the forward power to go with it, won the All-Ireland in 2022. That is where the game has gone. So Jim McGuinness needs to come back in and look at what, say, he did in 2014, very similar to what the Dubs then went on to do under Jim Gavin in the six in a row. Have the defensive system, have your Keno Sullivan, have your Carl Lacey sweeping up, but then be good 
going forward the other direction. So as well as that, it's not the same talent coming through. Like you look at it, they got to the All Ireland Under Twenty One final in two thousand and ten with Jim McGuinness at the helm. They had players like Michael Murphy, Leo McLoone in that team. Now Donegal have not made the final four in the Under Twenty grade since two thousand and seventeen, and even then they were handily beaten by Dublin. So it's not the same level of talent coming through. When McGuinness first came in, he had the McGee brothers at the start of their career. He had Michael Murphy at the start of his, Paddy McBrearty at the start of his. So many talented players coming through. So it's not the same, but I still think he can get the best out of them, as I said. So all in all, this is a really, really interesting story. It's definitely going to shake up the whole championship. This is 100% going to shake up the championship. Jim McGuinness has returned as Donegal manager. So unbelievably, he is back at the helm. So exactly the appointment, in my view, that Donegal needed. After the turmoil of last season, the man himself has returned. Jim McGuinness is back. Donegal now next season, I expect them to have their confidence back up. I expect them to have an identity again. I expect that they will get out of Division 2 and I expect that they will be Ulster contenders. I don't expect them to be direct contenders for the All-Ireland next season, but I do expect them to be dark horses. Do you really think that Jim McGuinness would have returned for anything less than an All-Ireland medal, as I said? Absolutely not. So for me, well done to the Donegal County Board. This is the exact appointment that they needed and good things are coming for Donegal. I can't wait to see this. It's going to make the championship a hell of a lot more interesting. So that's my immediate thoughts on this. The appointment was announced a couple of hours ago. So let me know what you think about it in the comments. And until the next one, guys, take care.